Folks, we're getting ready to blast off, and we're here with the Rocket. Rocket, how you feeling out here? I'm doing good, buddy. Good to see you. Always good. Uh, so, I, I was wondering, when you were playing uh, in majors, yeah. how, did you golf during season? Um, there were a few teams uh, that we were able to take our clubs, so the four teams, let's go right through them. So, my first one was the Red Sox. We were allowed to take our golf clubs on the road when we had an off day on, on the road. Uh, in Toronto, we were allowed to bring our golf club with the Blue Jays. The Yankees, we weren't allowed to bring our golf clubs, but we could bring our shoes and stuff, but we still get out and play when we had time. And then with the Astros, we could play. And, um, you know, I loved it. When we played, like, say we went to the West Coast and played um, Oakland or the Giants, San Francisco Giants, and we were playing a prestigious club like Olympic Club, we definitely wanted to have your own clubs or something like that. We got to play when we could in spring training. I love to play. I tell people that both times before I struck out 20 batters, I played golf the day before, so I felt like it made me lose, you know. So I never liked sitting in the hotel room. I always like being busy. Yeah, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rocking emotion saves the last yeah, That's right. So, so uh, 24 seasons, what's yeah. the key to longevity? Yeah, so my body agrees to ice really well. Yeah. <laughs> I still have an ice tank at my home, and uh, I throw a lot of batting practice to the kids and the young professionals. And uh, so that ice works for me. I always kept really good care of my body. Um, I had a great routine as far as my running and uh, every, you know, every, everything I did as far as uh, my leg work, um, being a power pitcher. I'm not a, I wasn't a power thrower. I talked about that earlier with some guys, but uh, just you know, really blessed and. Um, you know, very religious. You know, I had my one uh, shoulder surgery with Dr. Andrews when I was like 23 years old. It was a minor surgery, but any surgery on a pitcher is scary and, and career-threatening. And but thank goodness I was with Dr. Andrews and I learned about my shoulder and the you know your rotator cuff and everything like that. So I was able to strengthen it, and it's a way of life. I mean, even for this tournament, I'll have three-pound cup weights with me, or I'll go to a fitness center and make sure I do my shoulder work before I go golf. Mm, yeah. Now, as a guy who out of high school, you could have gone to the pros. You chose to go to college, uh, and now you've raised sons. Yeah. They're in the pros. Yeah. Uh, what's a piece of advice you give youngsters playing the game of baseball? So, uh, you know, to answer your first question, in high school I was a probably better defensive end than I was a pitcher. I didn't throw hard. I was I was a young senior. I graduated at 17 years old. So. Uh, uh, we had a couple guys on the team that threw real hard, and a lot of scouts would come watch them. And then when they wouldn't perform well, coach would put me in the game, and that's kind of how I got my scholarship to go play college ball. And, and uh, but what I would tell the kids, I tell all the kids, it takes zero talent to hustle, zero talent. You know, I tell them that we have our children's wing at home. Uh, that, that, uh, that we do and we go down there and see kids that may be missing uh, you know a hand or a foot and they would they would love nothing more than love to get in a batter's box and hit a slow roller to the pitcher and be able to run their tail off down the first baseline so I always tell the kids never loaf down the baseline right, right. go down there and break the tape like you're going through the base um, and, and that's basically what I tell them do your best my, my two young boys play professionally uh, my, I have two older boys there's, there's four of them the oldest one played 10 years professionally, and now the two young ones are playing. And um, it's hard. It's gonna, you know, it's tough. It's a very difficult sport. A lot of failing. You have to be able to understand failing. You don't have to get used to it. You just have to understand it because you're gonna fail a lot. And um, but it teaches a lot of life lessons too. So there you go. And we got another baseball boy who went the opposite way with Patrick Mahomes right now. Yeah. Chiefs. What are yeah. your thoughts on him? Yeah. Well, there? you know what? I, I got to watch his dad pitch in the major leagues uh, a number of times. I think with the Twins and. Um, Kid's a good athlete, man. He's, he's, uh, you know, you see these younger guys that are doing well. You know, he'll, he'll have some ups and downs. Right now, he's having a lot of ups. Yeah. And, uh, but it's fun to watch these young guys uh, because they're uh, energetic and they have, they're, they're just like kids at heart. So you hope you never, you hope you never lose that. Oh, you sure have it, man. We're That's pumped right. to see you out there. Good to see you, baby. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely.